Thank you, Mark. Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Hold on, wait a minute. This is food and wine for the fifth year. How are y'all doing this morning? All right, all right. Dominique and Elizabeth, would you join me up here? You know, it's been great. I've been here for every year, and I also serve on the board of the Midtown Improvement District, where we have to vote on whether to support this great idea. And would you ever have to vote no on something like this? No, this is one of the best things I get to support in our city, and it really has been a great asset. And as Kevin mentioned, having social entrepreneurs who step up to make sure we have these great amenities in our city truly does change Atlanta to be the city it should be, and also an icon in the South. So without further ado, I'd like to present this proclamation, five years of the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, whereas each year since 2011, more than 250 award-winning chefs, wine and cocktail experts have gathered in Midtown Atlanta to celebrate the rich and varied food and beverage traditions of the Southern United States at the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, whereas since the start, more than 35,000 festival guests have come to Midtown Atlanta from all over the globe, from 32 states and the District of Columbia, as well as Australia, Canada, Chile, Germany, Hungary, Mexico, New Zealand, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. And we're, and Belgium, of course, of course, of course, Belgium. Um, and whereas the festival has donated more than $338,000 in in-kind donations to local charities, again, $338,000, and in-kind donations to local charities. And whereas the festival has celebrated many firsts over the years, is the first culinary festival focused on food and drink from across the southern region of the United States, from Texas to the District of Columbia, and the first festival of its kind to partner with the United States Department of State. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of Atlanta City Council, and on behalf of the citizens of Atlanta, Congratulate the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival on its fifth anniversary and hereby proclaim May 28th through the 31st, 2015 as Atlanta Food and Wine Festival Days in the city of Atlanta. Signed by all my colleagues on city council. Thank you so much for what you're doing in our city. Thank you, thank you. something like this you can't help but choke up but instead of tr crying in front of you I think we're gonna pop a bottle because <laughs> how else can you oh I better watch out everyone look the other way oh. Come on. well we have full glasses but I'll give you a little bit more how about a topper is there a glass too full there's never a glass too full hi you want to have a party? <laughs> we are so excited to be standing up here again. Uh, it's a little bit remarkable that it's been five years in a row now. Um, but we can't hear me. Uh, we're so grateful to all of you for coming because without um, each of you in this room, we wouldn't have a festival. Um, the chefs would have no one to cook for. It'd be sad. <laughs> Drinks would not be poured. Uh, so thank you all so much for joining us. We're so excited to have you here and look forward to a really exciting weekend. There is a lot, a lot that you're going to see and do and experience over the next um, three days. So please take it all in and enjoy it. Um, we have a few things that we'd like to kick off with and, and talk through. First, for me and Dominique, this is such a special home for us. The Lowe's is a wonderful place for us to have the festival and they've been great to us. So Mark, wherever you went, thank you very much. And the Lowe's team, you've been amazing and we, uh, we're glad to continue to call this home. So thank you. Thank you. Sophisticated drinking game. Every time we raise our glass, you you all have to also. <laughs> uh, you know, when we started the festival, people thought we were absolutely crazy. Um, there are some words for what they called us about how crazy we were. Um, but we had this vision of shining an international spotlight on the rich food and beverage traditions of our region. We're Southerners. We're proud of what's going on, and what's going on is exciting and it's delicious and it's innovative and it's setting the tone across the country and perhaps even in other parts of the world. So our goal was to really put it on an international stage, but there's no way that you can do that by yourself. Um, you definitely need the help of others, and we have had nothing but great help from others, and in fact, it's, it's really humbling <laughs> to, to think about it. So we want to start first with just saying thank you to those folks, and um, you can drink along with each one, but we have, <laughs> we have recognized the lows, 
who made us a home. Midtown has also been a wonderful home to us as well, as has 12th and Midtown. Um, it's not, it's very difficult, surprisingly, in, in this city to find a space where you can actually have the number of people that we have and near MARTA and a little bit of green and uh, all parking. And, yeah, it, it's a lot to find an actual great venue to, to do tasting tents and things like that. Um, but there are a number of people in Midtown who've gathered together and said, we're going to help you, we're going to make this happen, and 12th and Midtown is one of those. Um, and um, I'll let you jump in on the other side. <laughs> so we thank 12th and Midtown too. Thank you so much. It's been a, a great place to call home. Um, there's a, a, a lot of people throughout the festival that you'll see. A lot of amazing products. Coca-Cola. Thank you, Stella. <laughs> Sarah, you're looking at me. Um, there's a lot of things that you'll see. If you're in our Connoisseur Lounge, um, which is amazing breakfast that I got brought this morning, um, we have some great sponsors there. Sub-Zero Wolf does all of our appliances and kitchens throughout the entire festival. Um, and, um, and DCD and Craftmade built that beautiful kitchen up there, so super thanks to them. And Shaw, um, the carpets. It's amazing to go into a ballroom and completely transform it, and to have the hotel staff say to us, we almost don't recognize our own ballroom. Um, so it's really fun to be surrounded by such beautiful things. It's great. Also among our list of sponsors, PNC Bank. They've been with us for a couple of years now and have really embraced our notion and what we're trying to do. And in some ways, they've relocated to Atlanta a handful of years ago. And in some ways, this is a great way for them as well to get integrated because they're laying roots in this community. And this is really about our roots and our history and, and becoming one with all of the all of, all of the communities around. Um, Portia, who doesn't love a Portia? Um, today's our fifth birthday, and if Oprah were here, I would ask her to give all of us a Portia. <laughs> but sadly, she declined our invitation. Um, <laughs> Sub-Zero Wolf has also been a wonderful um, sponsor over the years. I also want to call out, we wanted to do something a little bit different this year, and um, one of our goals is to entice people to this region to eat, drink, and explore. So tourism is a big goal for us. We've been chipping away at it for a couple of years now, but this year we've been able to bring in some really fantastic partners, and those include the state of Alabama, Sweet Home Alabama. And for those Alabama people, I mean Auburn. Um, <laughs> she always goes there. Oh, come on. Uh, also, South Carolina, where is our South Carolina contingency, and Mississippi. So we're excited to have these partners in with us to help tell the story of their states in um, a much more meaningful way and really to give you greater access um, to their food traditions. I also want to talk about a couple of new partnerships that we've had. Um, when we started the festival, we went to our friends at Food & Wine Magazine and said, we have this idea, what do you think? And their first reaction was, don't start another Food & Wine Festival, there's one on every single street corner. I said, yeah, but, but wait, 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 ours is going to be about the South. So they ended up taking a 15-minute meeting and turning it into an hour and a half meeting, and three days later came back and said, yeah, we're, we're in and we want to be a sponsor. So we've been with Food & Wine since the beginning, but this year we've expanded that relationship across the Time Inc. family to include Sports Illustrated Golf, we golf, food, iconic golf courses of the South, they all go great together, um, and Southern Living. And so we're really excited to have these new partners on board. Southern Living turns 50 next year. So we think ours is a celebration. Wait until next year for, for Southern Living. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We talk about media partnerships. And uh, really telling the story of Atlanta Food and Wine comes alive in the pages that um, our amazing media write for us over the weekend. So for those of you out there tweeting and telling stories and writing about the South and about what's happening here, thank you so much. It's people like Southern Living and the Timing Family and Atlanta Magazine, who really is our hometown um, champions and telling all the world about what's happening here in Atlanta this weekend. So fun to see. Thank you. So the weekend really wouldn't be possible without the talent that's here, and our advisory council is an incredible group of individuals, men, women, mixologists, chefs, sommeliers, beer folks, distillers. It's really amazing, and they are the best of the best in our region. They sit down with us. We spend about four months developing the programming for this weekend, and it all comes from them. It's their ideas, their passion, what they want to talk about, what they want you to know. And so we really raise a lot of glasses. I think I need the bottle for this one. Um, to our advisory council for all you do to make this weekend happen. I see a bunch of you.
obviously really rehearsed this year. Our final thing is this year we've had an interesting new change within our organization, and we've recently entered into a joint venture with the IWSC group in the UK. IWSC is the parent company of the International Wine and Spirits Competition, which is the oldest and largest um, wine and spirit competition in the world. So we're really excited to have our friends from the UK here with us, and um, Alan, and glad to take us one step closer to having that international reach with this weekend. So thank you all so much. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend full of good food and good beverage. There's a little uh, saying that we, uh, that we use here at Atlanta Food and Wine to kick off this toast. I don't have it memorized, but uh, here we go. Let us raise a glass to a weekend of good cheer with food, wine, bourbon, and craft beer. With eaters, drinkers, and passionate Southern thinkers, let us laugh, love, and have good fun with Midtown as our home under a lovely spring sun. But most of all, let only good flavors touch our lips as we eat, drink, savor, and sip. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.